Collision theory is a theory proposed independently by Max Trouts in 1916 and William Lewis in 1918, that qualitatively explains how chemical reactions occur and why reaction rates differ for different reactions. The collision theory states that when suitable particles of the reactant hit each other, only a certain fraction of the collisions cause any noticeable or significant chemical change. These successful changes are called successful collisions. The successful collisions must have enough energy, also known as activation energy, at the moment of impact to break the pre-existing bonds and form all new bonds. This results in the products of the reaction. Increasing the concentration of the reactant particles or raising the temperature, which brings about more collisions and hence more successful collisions, therefore increases the rate of a reaction. When a catalyst is involved in the collision between the reactant molecules, less energy is required for the chemical change to take place, and hence more collisions have sufficient energy for reaction to occur. The reaction rate therefore increases. Collision theory is closely related to chemical kinetics. Topic: <inaudible> rate constant. The rate constant for a bimolecular gas phase reaction as predicted by collision theory is K T equals Z rho exp minus e a r t display style k t equals z rho exp left frac e underscore text a r t right where z is the collision frequency rho display style rho is the steric factor a is the activation energy of the reaction. T is the temperature. R is the gas constant. The collision frequency is Z equals N A sigma A B eight K B T pi mu a b display style z equals n underscore text a sigma underscore a b s q r t f r a c eight k underscore text b t pi mu underscore a b where na is the Avogadro constant sigma a b is the reaction cross section k b is the Boltzmann's constant Mu a b is the reduced mass of the reactants. Topic: <inaudible> Quantitative insights. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Derivation. Consider the bimolecular elementary reaction. A plus B sin collision theory it is considered that two particles A and B will collide if their nuclei get closer than a certain distance. The area around a molecule A in which it can collide with an approaching B molecule is called the cross-section of the reaction and is, in simplified terms, the area corresponding to a circle whose radius R A B Display style r underscore a b is the sum of the radii of both reacting molecules, which are supposed to be spherical. A moving molecule will therefore sweep a volume pi r a b two c a display style pi r underscore a b caret 2 c underscore a per second as it moves where c a display style c underscore a is the average velocity of the particle this solely represents the classical notion of a collision of solid balls 
As molecules are quantum mechanical many particle systems of electrons and nuclei based upon the Coulomb and exchange interactions, generally they neither obey rotational symmetry nor do they have a box potential. Therefore, more generally the cross-section is defined as the reaction probability of a ray of A particles per aerial density of B targets, which makes the definition independent from the nature of the interaction between A and B consequently, the radius R A B is related to the length scale of their interaction potential. From kinetic theory it is known that a molecule of A has an average velocity different from root mean square velocity of C A equals 8 K B T pi M A Display style c underscore a equals sqrt frac 8k underscore text b t pi m underscore a, where k b display style k underscore text b is Boltzmann constant and m a display style m underscore a is the mass of the molecule. The solution of the two-body problem states that two different moving bodies can be treated as one body which has the reduced mass of both and moves with the velocity of the center of mass, so, in this system mu a b must be used instead of m a Therefore, the total collision frequency, of all A molecules, with all B molecules, is N A sigma A B 8 K B T pi mu A B A B equals N A Pi R A B two eight K B T Pi Mu A B a B equals Z A B Display style N underscore of sigma underscore A B S Q R T F R A C eight K underscore text B T Pi mu underscore A B A B equals N underscore of Pi R underscore A B carrot two S Q R T F R A C eight K underscore text B T Pi mu underscore A B A B equals Z A B from Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution it can be deduced that the fraction of collisions with more energy than the activation energy is E minus E A K B T Display style E carrot FRAC E underscore text A K underscore text B T Therefore, the rate of a bimolecular reaction for ideal gases will be R equals Z rho A B EXP minus E A R T Display style R equals Z rho A B E X P left FRAC E underscore text a R T right where Z is the collision frequency rho Display style rho 
is the steric factor, which will be discussed in detail in the next section. Aya is the activation energy per mole of the reaction. T is the absolute temperature. R is the gas constant. The product zero is equivalent to the pre-exponential factor of the Arrhenius equation. Topic: <laughs> Validity of the theory and steric factor. Once a theory is formulated, its validity must be tested, that is, compare its predictions with the results of the experiments. When the expression form of the rate constant is compared with the rate equation for an elementary bimolecular reaction, R equals K T A B display style R equals K T A B it is noticed that k t equals n a sigma a b 8 k b t pi m a e x p minus e a R T display style K T equals n underscore a sigma underscore a b s q r t frac 8 K underscore text b t pi m underscore a e x p left frac e underscore text a r t right. This expression is similar to the Arrhenius equation and gives the first theoretical explanation for the Arrhenius equation on a molecular basis. The weak temperature dependence of the pre-exponential factor is so small compared to the exponential factor that it cannot be measured experimentally, that is, it is not feasible to establish, on the basis of temperature studies of the rate constant, whether the predicted T1/2 dependence of the pre-exponential factor is observed experimentally. Topic: <laughs> Steric factor. If the values of the predicted rate constants are compared with the values of known rate constants, it is noticed that collision theory fails to estimate the constants correctly, and the more complex the molecules are, the more it fails. The reason for this is that particles have been supposed to be spherical and able to react in all directions, which is not true, as the orientation of the collisions is not always proper for the reaction. For example, in the hydrogenation reaction of ethylene the H2 molecule must approach the bonding zone between the atoms, and only a few of all the possible collisions fulfill this requirement. To alleviate this problem, a new concept must be introduced, the steric factor ρ. It is defined as the ratio between the experimental value and the predicted one or the ratio between the frequency factor and the collision frequency. Rho equals a observed z calculated display style row equals frac a underscore text observed z underscore text calculated and it is most often less than unity usually the more complex the reactant molecules the lower the steric factor Nevertheless, some reactions exhibit steric factors greater than unity, the harpoon reactions, which involve atoms that exchange electrons, producing ions. The deviation from unity can have different causes, the molecules are not spherical, so different geometries are possible, not all the kinetic energy is delivered into the right spot, the presence of a solvent when applied to solutions, etc. Collision theory can be applied to reactions in solution, in that case, the solvent cage has an effect on the reactant molecules, and several collisions can take place in a single encounter, which leads to predicted pre-exponential factors being too large. Rho values greater than unity can be attributed to favorable entropic contributions. See also 
two-dimensional gas. 